That's right. It's that time of year again where everyone wants to know, can Tiger Woods make a comeback? And the answer is, nobody knows because he hasn't hit a shot in competition yet. But what we can do is take a look at a couple key points in his golf swing that have changed over the years and speculate on how he's going to adapt to manage these areas so that he can be successful. And the first point occurs as he gets into his downswing. And what you'll notice, again these camera angles aren't exactly the same so it's a little bit tough to say, but just drawing a line on his lead leg and it's fair to say there's a pretty big difference there. So in the old days, in 2002, that knee's almost straight, but most importantly, butt is back, and rotation is very strong. That was his strength. A lot of flexibility, a lot of power. Now obviously, he doesn't quite have that same ability anymore. You can see the difference as he goes through. And what this basically means is he's got less flexibility and rotation going on through the impact zone. And that of course presents the challenge that how he moves through impact has to adapt to this difference. One difference we know is that speed's not going to be quite as you know, torqued up, we'll call it. Not as full throttle. But what's even more important is that what we see his back doing is a little bit different. As you see on the left here, as he comes through, rotation's not quite as good as it is on the right, or not as complete yet. And so, this presents the possibility that if he were to get the club a little too far inside or ever get stuck, he is in big trouble because he can't recover. So, on this particular swing, you actually notice that. To me, it looks like he's hanging back, trying to really rip one, hit up on the ball. Come a little from the inside, but the rotation isn't there to support it. And he gets in a position where, to be honest, I think his back isn't too happy about this. And you'll see he really comes out of it, trying to almost take the pressure off. And his follow through looks kind of almost called labored and forced a bit. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can see that. It doesn't look like classic tiger here who can easily stay in that position. You can almost see his torso is quite happy to rotate on a swivel. And so basically there was no no stalling of the hips. Everything was very happy to just rip on through. And a real classic looking tiger finish. Now when we see this kind of follow through. To me that suggests that he is a little stuck coming from the inside and that is what we saw when that two-way miss was really plaguing him in his first comeback. However, what is very encouraging is that during the same practice round he made some swings that look a lot different and I would say look much more reminiscent to Tiger 2002 on the right. So as he comes down here, now I would never expect the rotation to get back to the level that he was at before all his injuries, but what's really neat to see on this swing is that we're going to see him do a better job, more comfortable staying in his posture, and you can see that follow through is a lot smoother and a lot closer to the look of classic Tiger. And that's very promising because I wasn't seeing that during, when he made his first comeback. There were a lot of swings that looked like that first one. Now how do we explain such a difference between two swings by the same guy in the same round? You can really notice the difference up there. Now my theory behind this, and I really believe this, I think on the swing on the right, Tiger's really trying to maximize his launch angle, hit up on the ball, come from the inside and get the most distance he can. 
And because that rotation isn't there, I think this can get him in trouble. It looks to me like he gets a little stuck. And I also think that his back doesn't really want to be doing that long term. It's really trying to relieve that pressure as quick as it can. So that'll be something to watch for when he plays. If we start to see that type of follow through, I'd be a little concerned about the two-way miss coming back. That being said, he can time it really well because he's Tiger Woods, but we've seen him struggle. This swing on the left looks to me like he's playing a hole where he's just trying to play for position off the tee. If I had to guess, I'd say he's not giving a second thought about hitting up on the ball or any of that stuff. He's just saying, I gotta hit a little bullet that puts it in play. I think he's hitting maybe a tiny fade. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was hitting a little bit down on the ball. But the result to me is that his back looks good. His, time, his swing is in a good sequence. Everything looks like it's the other. And that finish looks very Tiger-like. And I think you'll see him hit a lot of good shots when you see that kind of finish. So again, that difference. Watch for it. Look at that nice controlled follow-through. Versus a little bit stuck and trying to get get the club around his back, but it's tough because he's coming a little bit in to out. Personally, I think Tiger's going to do really well if he plays for a position off the tee. I think he's always been a fantastic iron player. And I really think that when he doesn't worry about launch angle and trying to hit up on the ball and get that maximum peak, he makes his best swings. I think he always has. Here he is hitting the stinger. Everything's really in control, not too much pressure on the back. Really good follow through. So, only a few hours to go now. When you're watching this weekend, keep an eye out for that follow through. Hopefully we see a lot of ones that look like this one on the left. I think you'll see just a nice controlled fade and a lot of balls in good position. And we'll watch out for this look, that really kind of mistimed follow through. I think if we see that, we could be in a little trouble. But I mean, he's worked hard to get back. He says he's pain free and we're seeing some good swings in the practice round. So that's great. Uh, let's cheer him on and uh, enjoy the tournament, everyone. Thanks for watching.